trying times, man. Trying times is brothers. We got to stay together. You know how I did this in a minute. This is another motivational video. When I talk, I want God to speak through me. I ask God to use me as the best to bless all my people, my chosen people, and those who wasn't chosen, who were chosen to be a part of the life plan that God made for each and every creature that he made on this earth. Now, as we know, I love my mama. I don't have any children. I love my sisters. I love my aunties. I don't have I don't have children yet, right? I love my grandmothers, right? And I forgive them. You know, because a woman growing up as a single mother. Uh, your mother can't teach you how to be a man. She might think what's best for you, but you have to forgive her. You see, as men, we have to come together. Because women have to see the power of a man. And when we're getting ganged up on by other women and other men not standing up for us, it makes our arguments look weak and flawed when we know our debates are centered around pure wisdom and intelligence. We will have to start pushing the harder line. You know, it's a movement where a woman thinks she can actually, you know, do what we do, you know what I mean? And that's the grade to women because as a man, I would never be able to do what a woman does. But I'm not complaining about it. I'm not saying I could just, you know, I don't know. Um, this Western world that we live in with these women, bro, is different. I'm going to tell you why it's different because they are so entitled to the point where you don't coddle them and talk to them nice. They feel like, you doing something wrong. Are you impressing them? But true love is getting them out of that cognitive feeling. No, you got to shake her up. This is real life. That's what true love is. And some people never have this. Some people are unable to receive your love. Chosen ones. They think love is hate and hate is love because someone tells them that this is that and that is this. But in reality... In the actuality of God, that is that, and this is this. You see, it's all a trick on your mind. You know what I mean? Every they gonna tell you, oh, you ain't doing nothing wrong. It's okay. But as a man, I prefer somebody tell me, man, you need to do better. You know what I mean? You need to put in more effort. You know, I got this thing going with my life to where I'm at the point where I want to do better. You know what I mean? And each day goes by. You know. It is this thing is still going on active every day. Like I practice this shit. I, I got my mind right. You know what I mean. I got a lot of shit written down. I got a lot of plans for us, for America, for society, for the new world. Give me time. Jesus started his message to preach when he was thirty three. I started at 15. So the plans I got is not the overnight plans. Like all the melodies and harmonies and shit I got, it takes time. But I promise you, before 2024 over, y'all get the first spectacle of what y'all been waiting for. And y'all could double down because it took this long. Like, but I think once y'all hear it, it's kind of like a video game. Sometimes people want to, yeah, let's get this video game out. Yeah, let's, and then it come out, there's bugs. There's patches. I don't want any bugs. I don't want any patches. On my day one launch, the game's going to play smooth. I'm not rushing up there. I'm not delaying anything. Everything happens on God time. It takes time to harmonize these beats. It takes it take time 
to think of these words to captivate your mind. It takes a special type of person. Like, I'm not working on one thing. I'm working on 50, I got 50 uncompleted projects. I can put it like that. So, but I have so, so many different type of emotions and I'm recording things on different hertz and frequencies. I'm learning about cymatic and the frequency of sound. You know what I mean? And the point it will be clear when, when you let the woman know, like, you know what I mean? You can't walk all over us. That's my brother. White, black, Japanese, whatever. That's my brother. We will not stand to let you run something in the ground, no offense, that we built. American men make sure the gas is running. American men make sure your car get fixed. American men is the ones that protect your border lines. American men are the ones on the front line in the Navy. American men, shout out to the United States Army too. American men like me, like you, like your son. You know what I mean? And lessons to the men, do not compromise your masculinity for anybody who wants to put pressure on you and wants you to fold and say, oh, you're not doing what I want you to do. So they're trying to change you because they want you to be a certain way. But you, a man, you stand on principle to the woman, they'll understand you're not going to get a man to do what you want by talking to him and belittling him like that. You're not going to be like a woman, well, I want to be a part of the group, so let me just listen. No. As a man, everything we do, it runs on respect, you feel me? But the first part of being a man is learning to respect your, your fellow man in earth. You know what I mean? Women don't respect each other. They, they respect the fact that they coddle each other's feelings. I dare you today, right now, you stop coddling a woman's feelings and tell her what it is, she's going to look at you like you're wrong, but you're not wrong because she values emotional support over reality. You know what I mean? A bitch that disrespects you, but then then she can come back and be like, well, we're here. We saw she, we're we supposed to be a part of together, but she's like, I don't give a fuck about being together, part of no hierarchy or none of that shit. If it don't come down to respect, it's all about respect when it comes to a man. And it's all about feelings. A man out of you, be respectful and tell him the truth. You know what I mean? I'd rather somebody tell me they don't like me, it'd be in my face. And then it's more respectable. I don't like you. I don't fuck with you. I can respect that. But if you don't like somebody, don't be all in their face. I don't talk to them crazy. Like, just be a grown up about it. I don't like you. I don't like you. That's only four words. It takes less than half a second. You know what I mean? If I don't like somebody, I'm like, hey, what's up? I don't like you, but I don't fuck with you. That's what I'm telling them. Niggas don't got a heart like that. You know what I mean? Niggas fight another way. Niggas be scared to fight. Niggas want to fight you with their words. You know what I mean? Because they scared to throw hands, but they want a way to release that anger. So you be like, why are niggas talking to me like that? Because they want, they really want to fight you. They want to hurt you. You know what I mean? But God playing got something different for that. But they don't want to throw hands with you, so they're going to try to or hurt your emotions, hurt your feelings. That's how some people fight. Because some people was raised punks, you know? Some people don't face their demons. They try to put their problems on others. And that's, uh, what you call it, low self-esteem? You can exploit somebody like that and expose them and really have them in a dark place. But if you just choose not to, it's just bad for society. Like, a lot of people don't love themselves. I love myself. I love being me. You can say this about me, that about me. Can I be at a peace though? <clears throat> you don't respect me. You don't want to make amends for what thing that you done. All right, then. This is my biggest pet peeve. 
motherfuckers don't want to fuck with you, right? But they don't want to, you know, meet the criteria to fuck with you. Like, you used to be nice all the time, but you're like, if you want me to be to fuck with you, you're going to have to do this. And they don't want to do it, and you wrong for, you know what I mean, standing up for yourself and for what you believe in. But you're not wrong. They're wrong for forcing their opinions on you and going against you for what you believe in because it's up outside their thought. You know what I mean? Just because you don't like seafood, you're going to smack the, 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 the motherfucking lobster cell off my plate? That ain't cool, man. I love seafood. If you don't like seafood, that's on you. Nigga, I wish a nigga would touch these fucking king crab legs, bitch. Yeah. On another note, the brute strength of a man. I encourage y'all to keep y'all feelings intact. And I advise y'all women to stay out these men's face. The brute force that a man is capable of hurting you. You don't have that ability. The only thing you can do is talk shit, but then once he put his hands on you, what are you going to do? You talk tell the shit, but he slapped the shit out of you. And, and then that'll shut down their whole... I'm a tough guy. I can talk to men. If you slap the shit out of her, that's going to be kind of out of pocket. But then what does she do? She ain't going to fight you, throw hands with you. She's going to call another man or she's going to talk some shit. So I don't believe in putting my hands on these women, but push the bitch and make her fall on her back or something on her. But then when you push her, make sure, like, you push her on her, like, the grass, not the concrete. You know what I mean? But uh, if a woman is just... What men didn't understand with men, if you was another man talking to me how you was talking to me, it would have been a fight, a shootout, or whatever. You know what I mean? But because you a woman, I'm a man, I'm sitting here trying to stay away from you. You just give me all the disrespect. As a man, what I'm supposed to do, I'm a man, I can't just sit here and nobody disrespect me. I have no choice but to get away from you. But I can't hit you, not a man. You know what I mean? And then you wrong for walking away. And and I said you wasn't able to handle or you weren't strong enough. But why should I have to fight for anything? I'm already a black man fighting for my right to just live in society. You know what I mean? So, especially black women, bro. You know what it is to be uh, of color, but you don't know the life walk path that we use as chosen ones, as black men who don't, who choose to stay out the street, who choose to believe in God, who choose not to be pimping. Who too don't have to be player and dog in these hoes, being in these streets, being murderers, killers, and drug dealers. You know what I mean? We want more for us. You want to break these young know, curses. Everybody in your family broke. Not one person in your family got over 100 k in that bank account. That's sad. That's lame. I'm getting to this money. I could be boosy. I could be fake. But I choose to be a real nigga. I choose to stand on principle. A lot of people don't stand on principles. As men, I'm telling you to come together to stand on principles. We are the army of God. A woman is a reprobate. If she's not here to help you, she doesn't deserve to be on earth because her whole existence was to help you. And if you're not protecting the woman, you don't deserve to be a title of the man because your role is to protect women. When you see women getting hurt or harassed, we protect them. But how many women out here cooking and cleaning? But how many men out here helping, protecting, fixing these women's cars, keeping these motherfucking borders safe? Men is doing all this on a daily basis. And a woman says, I am the table. When the man made the table, he's supposed to bring the food to the table. When you already got kids, all you bring is placing forks and kids. And know what I mean? And all the pain he been through, you can't even acknowledge it. So it's like, why would I even sacrifice my life, my hard time, my money for somebody who don't even, you know what I mean? You can't even relate to my pain as a man or you can't even, you know what I mean, relate to my struggle or my hustle. You know what I mean? It, it, it is a man is not nothing just to be used. A man is something to be respected. A man is something that you should honor and cherish, just like you should honor and cherish a woman. Men are not just expendable. See, what happened is we, we awakening up, right? And the women never coached them. But back then, all the old heads that was black, 
Yeah, you know what I mean? You got to watch out for these women. You got to keep your head strong and get your money. I don't believe these hoes. It finally snapped. And now, now it's a great awakening to call it the Red Pill Movement. Now, we've been trained for years since our grandfather's been telling us, don't trust these bitches. But all these women been getting tired as all these men ain't shit. They going to listen. You see, it's, it's a blockade because now we waking up. They don't have any more tactics. This is all they know. No, I'm terrible. Take care of me. Ooh, shake my ass. That's all they know. They don't know how to be thoughtful, use their brain, to cater to a man, to follow God. They haven't been taught anything else. So you can see they just keep regurgitating the same thing. And this is not the 1990s no more. This is the 2000s. That shit don't work no more. And they don't have no other game plan. Can a woman say, okay, well, this is how you treat your man now. No, their whole game plan was finesse. Now niggas starting to wake up. Nobody, you can't finesse nothing. And you get mad and saying men ain't men no more and all this. What really is mad is you can't take advantage of them and then knowing their worth. And you feel some type of way about it as if they're evil. And But really, you just trying to justify your ego getting hurt. By these men not catering to you because you think you a queen and everything. And once a man don't so treat you like a queen, you're like a regular woman, you know, you get mad and you want to sabotage this man's life for him not kissing your ass. And that's that's very evil and that's very real. And as a man, it's not our position to kiss anybody's ass. As a man, you can kiss my ass, bitch. Because like I, if I have my child, I see your mama had you came out of me first. You know what I mean? So we have to be more strategic in the ways that we get into these women's minds. Because all they know is what's in the past. They don't know nothing about the future. All this shit they've been taught is, is not working no more. And they don't know what to do next. They're confused. They don't understand that it's a new era. It's a new time. All that uh, bougie ratchet shit. Take care of me. That's not going to work no more. You know what I mean? Y'all need to come up with a different strategy. I need to go to the drawing board and figure out a new plan because your time is up. It's time for real men to stand up, get together, and start rising. And it's time for all women to listen and bow down to God. Instead of trying to have a man bow down to you, you need to try to bow down to something. You want a man to bow down to you, Bow down to God. You're not God. You're just a woman. I'm just a man. We're just human beings. We're not. God said ye are gods, but in this form, we are in our freshly formed now. So I don't understand what is about you that just deserves so much worship and praise. How beautiful do you think you are? Baby girl, you look good, but to the point in your mind when you think you just just goddamn fine and it, that's okay, but you don't think that's a little bit delusional? You being the, the the mirror for hours, putting on clown makeup, fake nails, fake hair, but you say you want a real nigga though. You don't want a nigga with baggage, but you got baggage, loose pussy, kids, problems, and baby daddies. And debt. You know what I mean? But you both you both accept you with all this baby daddy drama. But we got one baby mama, you got three baby daddies, but you ain't gonna fuck with a man who got one baby mama, but you want a man to fuck with two and you got three baby daddies and take care of your kids. Do y'all think we that dumb? Do y'all really wanna what is it about a woman? Why do you wanna take advantage of somebody so bad? Like why does power corrupt women so much. Like, why can't y'all just be happy with what y'all got? Why do y'all have to feel better and have to step on somebody? Nobody wants to go through those emotions. Nobody, as a man, we, all they want is peace, sex, and sandwiches. You know what I mean? Especially if you're giving them no sex. If you can't have no peace and you ain't making them no sandwiches, what are you good for? Man, I had thick tongue bitch at the house. I'm feeding her, she ain't giving me no pussy. She ain't cleaning or nothing. I had thought to myself, she trying to come over and trying to smoke, the bitch ain't got no weed. I ain't got no weed, bitch. <laughs> and that's when I really start, 
I remember I really start to see myself work and seeing what I was doing. Like, I'm cooking for her, I'm cleaning, I'm smoking with her. The bitch will never cook, she'll never clean it, she'll never got no weed, and she'll never give me no pussy. While I'm in this house catering for this bitch, she on my house smoking my goddamn weed, dropping ashes on my foe, eating my food, and ain't throwing no pussy, won't even suck a dick or anything. I'm sitting here like, bitch, at least I don't even want your body. Bitch, when you come over here, bring some chicken or something, bitch. <laughs> Steaks and potatoes. Contribute. I'm done. Y'all have a good one.